Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont and I'm going to show you how to drop ship something from your Amazon seller account. And here's the situation. I have a Shopify store and I'm selling this particular product and the issue is when somebody buys the product, I don't have any inventory in my local uh, warehouse or store area or my manufacturer who can ship this item out. So that means I can't ship this. If somebody orders this item, I can't ship it from my location and I can't tell my manufacturer to ship it either uh, because they don't have any in stock right now. But my Amazon seller FBA account does have it in stock and I can have them ship it to my customer and I'll show you how to do that. So basically, once the order's placed or if you know there could be another situation you wanna send a sample to somebody or something like that, go to your Amazon seller account and then click on inventory, manage inventory. You should come to this page and here are some of the products that I have. I want, this is the uh, one that I just showed you. I want to have Amazon ship this product to one of my customers who pays for it. There's 66 in stock at the Amazon Fulfillment Center. Go to the far right side of the page, click the edit button, and then select create fulfillment order. You'll come to a page like this, multi-channel fulfillment order. And again, this is what it looks like for me right now when I'm making this video. What you see might look completely different. It also requires that you have an Amazon seller central account pro level and you are using Amazon FBA because of course Amazon can't send, send the product if they don't have the product in stock at their own fulfillment center and you need to be using FBA to get that there. But basically what I would do is I would go through and I'd fill in the information about this person, okay? And uh, let's say it's in Waltham, Massachusetts, 02453. Um, phone number, customer address are optional. Order ID, what I sometimes do here, it just says it will, Amazon will automatically generate an order ID. But what I do a lot of the time is I use the order ID from my uh, Shopify site. So when I get the Shopify notification that this that this item has been ordered and there's a number, it's usually a four-digit number like a, a 2168, I'll just take the order number from the Shopify store and I'll put that here. I'll say like Easy Genie 2168, okay? And that will show up on the, on the packing slip so the customer knows that. And then I could put a little message here, thank you for your order, um, you know, maybe I'll, I could put in something about a discount code or some other messaging related to the sale. And then I could, um, you know, I want to make sure that if the person's ordered one, I'll just use that number. Or I could put in, like, let's say they ordered 10. I could change that there, hit continue. And then it would basically walk me through completing the order. Now, one thing about doing orders this way, uh, using this fulfillment process, this drop shipping process on Amazon, Amazon will not give you expedited shipping like Prime shipping automatically, even though that is set up by default in as an Amazon FBA order. So you have to pay extra for that if you want to uh, send something really fast. The basic shipping though is okay, it's ground shipping. Um, you know, it might take a couple extra days to, to, to fulfill it for Amazon to get it together. You won't know when that happens. Amazon will send you a confirmation or, you'll, or you can look on the uh, order screen, manage orders to see if it's shipped yet. Uh, but once you once Amazon does ship it, they'll include in the notification the shipping I, uh, the shipping tracking. So for for me, it's usually U.S. Postal Service or UPS. It'll give me the tracking ID, and then I can go into my Shopify area and like click on the order to fulfill, and I'll, I'll mark it as fulfilled, and then I'll just paste in the shipping uh, number that Amazon just gave me. Uh, that's how it works for me currently. I've done it a few times, either for items I don't have in stock or sometimes for items that are heavy and Amazon actually ships them to the customer for cheaper than I can do it. But it's very convenient. It's a way you can do some drop shipping or if, uh, you know, for all, all kinds of situations might come up. Again, be sure you understand Amazon's terms and conditions. Uh, it may work differently for you. There may be reasons you can or cannot do this particular type of shipping, but it's a it's actually a pretty useful feature that's part of um, Amazon fulfillment services, which come with the uh, pro level account and Amazon FBA. For more information on how to get the most out of Amazon programs, including Amazon Seller Central, Shopify, even WordPress, WooCommerce, things like that, go to leanmedia.org. That's my website. I have a blog and also videos about this stuff, and I hope to see you soon.